goat recognizing goat right here. We got James Cameron uh, recognizing Zack Snyder right here. And I'm out there going to school every day. I think any good filmmaker is out there going to school. Yeah. I'm also inspired by, uh, these are established filmmakers now, but I remember being very aspire, inspired by them when they first kind of broke on the scene. Yes. Like Zack Snyder and Robert mm -hmm. Rodriguez. There Guys you go. And Robert Rodriguez. Good company. Cinematic language. Yeah. You know. Cinematic so language. I can be inspired by somebody whose name I don't even know. Mm -hmm. You know, if they do something that's that's unique and remarkable and nobody's seen it before. Um, uh, a friend of mine who's a... See, there you go. Out there go that's right. Game recognizing game right there. We got James Cameron recognizing it. We've heard that before, but it's just kind of cool to see that circulated again, especially with the whole T Titans go and how they gave praise to Zack Snyder as well. I mean, come on, come on. It's just good stuff. You just, you just love to see it. You love to see it. Just, I mean, look at that Batman shot right there. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is what he had to say right here, I guess, in a recent interview when uh, he, I guess he clashed with the studio over the first Avatar. He said, I drew a line. In the sand, and I said, I made Titanic. This this building we're, we're meeting in, this new $500 million complex on your lot, Titanic paid for that. So I get to do this. That's right. He fucking mic dropped. He goes, hey, hey, you're going to push back against Avatar? I made Titanic. Not to mention he made other iconic movies that totally just like you know created like this his own cinematic language and obviously paved a way for like new things to come out. But yeah. He said that this was according to the New York Times. But I mean, some people might be like, what a dick, you know, or something like that. I'm just kind of going, it's James Cameron. You know, he was fighting for his his uh, his art. He was fighting for it. So he had to he had to pull out the whole thing like, hey, all this because I made Titanic. All right, guys. And then he walked out. I don't know if he did. Maybe, you know, maybe he did drop the mic or something like that. But there you go. James Cameron talking about that.